It is so nice to talk to you guys again. <laughs> It really is. It's so funny because I've said it for years now, but whenever I get behind the camera or in front of the camera and vlog, I look at the whole world so much differently. It just is so similar to when I was a nanny and I would have my little cousins with me and I would be pointing things out around the world like, oh, look at that squirrel or look at the ducks or be careful when you cross the road. And you just kind of see everything differently when you have someone to share the experience with. And I love, 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 love vlogging for those reasons. And I'm just really excited to get back into it. So I'm really happy to talk with you guys and to see how many of you are excited you're like yay the vlogs are back and people are like cool I want to learn how to cook vegan food that sounds amazing and coming up with really cute ideas of how I could do like little intros basically thanks guys thank you because it it always feels like a weird balancing act to get behind or in front of the camera when you're like I guess me now because I see so many of my friends or so many people I admire do so in really professional ways and I'm still back here going like uh, la, 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 la. I just want to share my silly daily life with people because it has unexpected surprises and delights and it's really surreal to go back and watch the videos as myself now and see things that I didn't realize at the time that inspire me now. I was just watching some of my videos before I went to Taiwan and laughing at little pre-Taiwanese me who had gone and it was just, it was so cool to listen to the bird song and realize if I just hold through a few more months then I will start seeing birds here in Michigan again. And just realizing I got to share so many really random, silly, daily moments with you guys. It was really cool and the days that I don't vlog or journal or do any of that, it's kind of scary to think about those days as being lost in a way. But I'm not here to talk about serious things, haha, <laughs> surprisingly today. I'm actually here because I want to show you guys some little treats and surprises that have been coming in from my sister and from some of the people on the Patreon. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wild rotten by you guys and you know who you are oh my goodness but yeah i wanted to share some of the special things that i've been getting because it makes me happy to have them and i like seeing people happy i like seeing what makes people happy so why not put that back out into the world or something profound like that and mostly it's just an excuse to show you guys that i am completely obsessed with washi tape and open up this package from my sister now but again thanks for enjoying the vlogs and for being there with me. I hope that it's clear from my intentions. I'm just trying to create a space that we can all kind of hang out as people, normal human people together. And I know a lot of people would possibly say, but Siri, you're a YouTuber. Uh, that doesn't make you a normal person. And I used to think maybe that could be true, not in the like egotistical way, but like, should I be behaving differently? Should my expectations of these vlogs be different? But the more I talk with the people in our Discord and the more they treat me like a normal human being and we get to be more comfortable with each other, the more I realize that it's not true. It's that's the beauty of YouTube, to be honest, is it's just one human speaking to another and we're all quirky and have our own personalities and it's just really fun to kind of settle back down into the being human stage of things. And I think that that has also tremendously helped me at being able to embrace my life, where it's at, the adventures I have, and the opportunity to share them with everybody. So thank you to all of you who are human with me and willing to just let me be human. I'm not trying to entertain. I'm not trying to deeply move. I just want to be me. And for me, that's finally, after almost 30 years, <laughs> an exciting and beautiful thing that I'm very happy to share with everybody else. So on that note, when I said I wasn't going to be serious, it's the beautiful day. I cannot help it. The sun is finally out. The sky is blue. I am thrilled because maybe spring is going to be showing up. This is Michigan, so I shouldn't be saying that. It's probably still going to be a few more months before it's really, really spring-like. But I cannot believe how different my mood is on these kinds of days. I could just like go out. I was singing all day when I was doing dishes and stuff downstairs and I was telling the sun I was so happy that it was finally coming back. The sky is actually blue and not gray. 
and I can really appreciate that today and that's really cool. So hopefully soon the weather will be nice enough that we'll have lots of outdoor walking things and when that time comes I'll tell you guys about some big health goals that I do have because it's been a bumpy winter and I need to get out of the house more and now that I no longer believe my obligation in life is to stay locked at my computer desk 24 7 recording I can go outside again <laughs> So we'll be doing lots of that too. But anyway, enough of that rambling. Uh, and I have no idea what happened to that poor squirrel for the record with his tail, but he seemed totally fine. And it doesn't look like it was uh, what, like really a bad injury. It just looks like he lost all of his fur for one reason or another. So that was interesting. And I'll keep an eye out for like no tail and let you guys know if he pops up again. But anyway, treats and presents from fantastic friends and family. And I have to tell you guys a story about the package from my sister in just a second because it made me burst out guffaw laughing when I saw it on my porch this morning. But I'm gonna start chronologically and I'm actually going to begin with a little present that popped into my P.O. box that I was so excited about. I cried so hard when I opened it. Normally I open all my P.O. box mail on streams or in our snowmobile videos because I think it's really fun to celebrate what especially mostly the kids have done for me uh, and drawn and expressed their creativity and their love of our adventures on the pixel biology channel together but if I know it's mail from the patrons or our discordians then I really like to sneak the package open like privately and share it with them and sure enough this is a gift from the amazing Carrie and uh, I would like to introduce you guys are you ready for this I don't think anybody could be ready for this it's a small bean <laughs> Isn't he so cute? It is my Rowlet plushie's little brother now. So this is Small Bean and I love him because he just fits perfectly in the palm of my hand. And sometimes, uh, like if you're having a really hard day, I've had him for a few days now, and I've noticed if I'm kind of having like a rough moment or if I just am kind of in an out of sorts mood, where most people probably have like a cat or a dog to scoop up and pet. I am not allowed to cats or dogs yet because of where we live. So I like to scoop him up and just like cradle him really gently and it makes me feel really good and this is a really cool little just round circle guy I guess you could like if you wanted to I can't hold him that rough that'd be, that'd be mean but I really love him so much and he fits in my pocket too so it's kind of like having a, a fluffy Tamagotchi again which is really cool but this was from Carrie as a gift just a little keep your head up gift which I thought that again made me cry I think the Discordians are used to me just like bawling all the time because I'm so emotional and when they treat me more human then I get to be even happier and it's just amazing and a fantastic circle uh, but this is from Teacup Lion plush Etsy and it looks like they have a lot of really cute little plushies so I highly recommend giving them a, a little a little peek I actually haven't had a chance to look at their Etsy yet but there's Rowlets and that's all I needed to know so this is little bean as he's no or small bean is what I call him uh, small bean boy if I'm feeling like being really cutesy and sometimes he rides around in my pocket just so that I have like I said a fluffy Tamagotchi that I can kind of keep with me because my other Rowlet plushie that Chips gave me is is very big <laughs> but he sits in my lap when I record so that's fun the Rowlet plushie not chips that is uh, anyway on that note let me tell you guys what my sister sent me a box and apparently it's an early birthday present so I am supposed to open it today and I have to say I tell my neighbors that I make internet videos, YouTube videos, and that's my job. That's why I'm home all the time. That's why they shouldn't be alarmed if I'm outside in the backyard with the cameras and staring at a squirrel, as I often am. In fact, I've even begun sharing my wildlife pictures with them. But my sister sent this adorable package that I'm actually quite tickled by to me, but she decided to send it under a silly name. So it says, ship to Sissy Love. And I burst out laughing when I picked this up off my front porch this morning because all I could think is that the UPS driver and my neighbors seeing a package shipped to my house under the name Sissy Love when I make YouTube slash internet videos and they're all like over 70 so that's just going to confuse them trying to explain it. 
I kind of burst out laughing thinking like what kind of videos do they think I make oh my gosh this is this is oh my gosh sissy sissy so I'm gonna have to tell my sissy that story if she's not watching so I don't know what kind of rumors she just started in our little condominium neighborhood that we have of our little cluster here but that cracked me up and I already I already cut the package open so we're gonna open this up it is my early birthday present because it is my 30th birthday coming up on March 26th and I have so many fantastic feelings about that I will tell you guys why I am ecstatic to be turning 30 <laughs> I feel like I could like climb on top of the roof and be like finally yes <laughs> yes but I'll talk about that later uh, for now oh Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Bebop. Oh, the Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival game. Because I have fallen heads and heels for Animal Crossing. And I told her this was on sale. It's like on clearance sale for five bucks at Animal or at Toys R Us or whatever right now. And she got it for me. It has three unique amiibo cards included. Oh my gosh, with Goldie, Rosie, and Stitches that I don't know if you can get anywhere else. Oh my gosh, you can't get them anywhere else. Bebop, thank you. Oh my goodness, so it's a Wii U game. And we do actually have a Wii U downstairs. Desert Island Escape, Acorn Chase, Balloon Island. Oh, this is so cute. I wonder if I can convince Chips to play with me. And you can play with one to four players. We might have to do this at some point in the future. Sissy, thank you. And thank you for sending it to me under the alias of Sissy Love so that my neighbors are definitely gonna be kind of like, so what do you do again? <laughs> Next time I see them, I'll have to bake them some vegan cookies. <laughs> but this is so cute. Look, you've got all of them up here. Look at a little leaf floating in the background. I have fallen heads and heels for Animal Crossing and I'll actually have to show you guys a secret Valentine's Day gift that Chips got for me that I haven't had a chance to share because I've been too nervous to vlog. Uh, so that's going to be really fun. But Sissy, thank you so much. Oh, I'm going to have to take that with me and we'll have to play it together, okay? And it even comes with an Isabel and a Digby amiibo set, which is fantastic because I am very much into the amiibos like Again, I'll show you guys Chips' Valentine's Day present to me pretty soon. It was really cool. Oh my gosh, Sissy, thank you. I will be messaging you and telling you about this and I did not get it because I don't have a Toys R Us near me, so you are very lucky. But yeah, they're like on clearance for like five or six dollars right now. So if you too would like to enjoy Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, which I hear is not the best of the Animal Crossing things, but maybe it's enjoyable, then go for it. I mean, it's like less than the price of what people drink when they drink coffee, I suppose. Uh, but thank you so much, sissy. And I love I love my small boy too. I have little presents here. I know it seems like I have a lot of stuff, but I've been like saving it, waiting to share it with you guys. And actually the other thing that I just got today with my <laughs> my household sundries sometimes i'll try to sneak in an amazon purchase that is just for fun for me when i have to like spend all this money on like yay new soap and toilet paper and then i'll like slide in some washi tape but i am really 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 into washi tape lately as i showed you guys in my joy journals uh in fact do i have here's one of them right here but my joy journal is actually splitting at the seams because I am so into stickers and washi tape right now because it helps so much with just being able to kind of like display what's going on in my life and to kind of like just add accents. Like I said, for me, I've been journaling and joy journaling for almost eight or nine years now and it has not, it transformed my life for a lot of reasons that I'll make a lot of vlogs about to break it down as much as I can for you guys in the future. But I had never ever used stickers, really silly random stickers, never ever used washi tape. Uh, in fact, I kind of got washi tape by accident one day and that's how this started. <laughs> But ever since I started adding it in, it feels like writing with color poetry for the times when I can't quite put words into my emotions. I can't quite translate whatever I'm feeling into the words on the page. And so I find myself reaching for my washi tape when that happens or reaching for my stickers. And the results end up being something that I look back on and even if they have nothing to do, like the color scheme or the stickers have nothing to do with what I was writing about, I can 
feel the emotional memory of how I was feeling. The thoughtfulness or the creativity or the playfulness and it has to do with the stickers and the washi tape. And that's really cool to me because it's a completely different sensation. And sometimes like this is a page where I hardly used anything and you can see the difference. There's an emotional difference that I'm noticing for when I just play and kind of write poetry with colors using stickers, you can feel a difference. And it makes me feel like I can work a little bit deeper and kind of investigate whatever I'm feeling a little bit more for putting it into my journal when I have those extra tools. So I really have gotten deeply in trouble, heads over heels with washi tape. Uh, I think I've shown you guys, I'll show you really quickly. <sighs> Yeah, I have a lot of washi tape now. I don't really need more, but I'm running out low on the leaves washi tape. Like I don't have very many uh, green leafy washi tape, so I wanted to get some more because it's almost spring and I'm gonna need it, hopefully, because it's almost spring and that makes me super happy. And the glory of washi tape is this was actually like $10. All of these, all of these were $10 on Amazon. So I highly recommend that if you just want to try out some washi tape and you just sort of want to get into it. I think this is like the season set. So you've got like the wintry dark colors over here, which hopefully I won't have to use much longer. You've got some autumn and summer colors. And then you start getting into some of the summer and spring colors, which is where we're headed. And that makes me so happy. So I got more washi tape for myself as well, because I'm going to hopefully be writing a lot of colorful emotional poetry uh, of the heart in my joy journals pretty soon. And sometimes if I can't seem to get the words going, especially because it's still coming out of sad seasonal affective disorder era of dark gray winter, the color really helps to kind of jumpstart things. So highly recommend that for you guys. And then finally, the last little like treat to myself that I'll show you guys today, I went to the PO box to pick up said small bean and I walked into the local bookshop and turned and I was just gonna look. I was just going to look. I wasn't gonna buy anything. I was gonna save my little bit of fun money for the month because we're gonna have some traveling coming up and I was gonna be responsible and adult and I wasn't gonna buy any more washi tape and I wasn't gonna buy any more amiibos and I was gonna be a responsible adult and start like saving my money better. And I turned and I looked to my left as soon as I walked in the bookshop and I saw giraffe socks. <laughs> I was like, no, there was just one pair left. One pair left of knee-high giraffe socks and I was doomed. I was doomed, I had to get it. So now I have a pair of knee-high giraffe socks that Chips just kind of sighed when I showed him. And I was gonna just, I was gonna leave with just the giraffe socks, that's all. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. There's giraffe socks. But I was in a bookstore and I was holding a pair of knee-high giraffe socks and everybody around me was talking about like the piano concerts they were going to that night and I was like hmm hmm and I should have just walked out with the giraffe socks perhaps but then I turned and I saw another giraffe and I was doubly doomed because I wasn't going to get the giraffe journal but I that's a lie as soon as I saw it I was like it's a new joy journal it has a giraffe on the front and that was all it took uh, but then I picked it up and looked at the back and this my friends is a special Mr. Ellie's Pooh handmade recycle paper journal so this journal is a handcrafted product made from a mixture of elephant waste and post-consumer paper. They were pulped to perfection by the elephants of Sri Lanka. So these are actually made as a conservation effort by a group that gathers up the pulp that elephants put out and they take care of it. They like put it through a whole bunch of different like boiling and sanitation processes and then transform it into this paper right here. And how am I gonna walk away from a giraffe that was created from elephant waste <laughs> that goes towards conservation of elephants in Sri Lanka? How am I just gonna walk away from that? So then I ended up with the giraffe journal and giraffe socks. And then I turned again, and this is when I knew I needed to flee. I needed to flee the store before my wallet was crying for mercy. 
and saw Bird Mania. I have not read it yet and I haven't told you guys yet, but one of my goals for the vlog channel, kicking it off with the new year, keeping in mind my family celebrates the new year with the Lunar New Year, uh, I feel like it's a lot better because you don't have a whole month of gray before the year really feels like it starts. But anyway, for the new Lunar New Year, one of my resolutions is to actually read more books and to start sharing the books, well I read a ton of books, but to start sharing the books here on the vlog channel in little book vlogs. And I want to start reading dog books for the year of the dog, so both fictional and non-fictional books about canines of different varieties. Hopefully I can find several dog books like Stacy's upcoming book that she has releasing this summer. Uh, and I can read them maybe on the main channel so that the kids can really get into reading and fictional books. And also I want to start reading bird books. I want to try to read at least one bird book, non-fiction, fiction if such a thing exists, bird book a month and sharing it with you guys because I adore birds and I love birds a lot, even more as time goes on. Bird Mania was on my list uh, in my Amazon cart actually so that I could get it on my Kindle. My preferred way of reading things is on the Kindle app on my, my little tea leaf wherever she's run off to with Animal Crossing Pocket Camp adamantly played on her actively all day. But anyway, <laughs> you guys are noticing some of my favorite obsessions lately. I picked up Bird Mania just to kind of flip through it and see if it's worth the money. It has really high reviews in the bird book circles if you happen to be somebody who lurks there like I do. And I was looking forward to getting it and I saw it and thought, oh, I should go home and maybe see if I can just put that on my Kindle. Then I opened it. I opened it, my friends. And there are actually gorgeous pictures. Let me see if I can find the picture that made me go, oh no, I'm gonna have to go ahead and buy the hard copy. We don't really like to have a lot of clutter in the house. Books are acceptable clutter, but still, I try to keep down because we're running out of bookshelves. <laughs> How many books we have in the house. But this book has some of the most beautiful bird art that goes with all of the stories that I have seen in quite a while. And it reminds me that we do actually have an Audubon selection of original Audubon uh, bird paintings and drawings on the university campus here in Ann Arbor that I need to take you guys to someday. And that just blew me away. So now I have Bird Mania. I will be reading it hopefully pretty soon with the Lunar New Year being here and doing a little my opinion review of it. Perhaps if not to review it for the sake of being like professional book reader, just sharing some of the cool things that I learned from it or some of the ideas that it sparked, not only for nonfiction biology purposes, but maybe I'm going to walk away from this eager to do all sorts of new adventures on the, you know, the main channel. And I actually draw a lot of inspiration for the silly fictional stories that we create as a pixel biologist from nonfiction books, from science articles, from just random places in the world and so I'm really looking forward to that guys. So this is beautiful. I have to say if you're into bird books and you're looking for uh, a good book to read, I don't know about the actual book yet because I haven't had a chance to read it, but I can say if you're debating between the hard copy or the Kindle copy, this is definitely going to be a little gem to have on my bookshelf just to open and look at the pictures, which is nice to say as an adult sometimes. But all right, so those are my treats. I'm very excited. I'm gonna have to thank my sissy who probably started so many rumors among my neighbors for the wonderful gift. Thank you very much, sissy. And thank you again to Carrie for Small Bean. I love him so much. He carries around in my pocket a lot because he's just, he's very comforting. My fluffy Tomodachi, that's what he is. I kind of wish I had a Tomodachi now. <laughs> and yeah, I'll keep you guys up to breast on my washi tape addiction. <sighs> but thanks for joining me guys and I will see you all next time.